My Pet Wants a Pet. Once there was a boy who wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. He begged and he begged and he begged his mother until, what do you know? She said, yes! The boy loved his puppy. He fed him, he played with him, and cuddled him in his arms. The puppy loved his boy. He licked him and jumped on him and fell asleep in his lap. They had the best time together, the boy and his pet. Such a good time, in fact, that the puppy decided he, too, wanted a pet. The boy's mother thought this was a terrible idea. The puppy is your pet, she said. He does not need a pet. But the boy understood that the puppy wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. And so the puppy got a kitten, a furry orange kitten. Truth be told, the boy was surprised at this choice. Dogs chase cats, he told the puppy. And the puppy did chase the kitten, but only as a game. And afterward, he let her eat from his bowl and play with his ball, and they dozed in the sun side by side. In fact, they got along so well and had so much fun together that it wasn't long before the kitten herself wanted a pet. When the boy told his mother this, she looked at him like he was crazy. That kitten is the pet of your pet. She certainly does not need a pet. But the boy and the puppy understood that the kitten wanted something to take care of, something of her very own. And so the kitten came home one day with a bird, a pretty red bird. Now, once again, this seemed like an odd choice. Cats catch birds, the boy told the kitten. And the kitten did sometimes pounce on the bird, but really it was all in good fun. The kitten made sure that the bird had water and places to fly and perch, and they got along so well and did so many marvelous things together that soon enough, what do you think? The bird wanted a pet. Now this is getting ridiculous, said the boy's mother. That bird is the pet of your pet of your pet. She does not need a pet. But the boy knew that she did. She really did. So the bird brought home a worm, a little green worm, the boy started to explain that birds eat worms, but then he decided to leave well enough alone. And the bird took such good care of that worm and was so gentle when she carried him and so quick to protect him that before long, guess what? The worm wanted a pet. What? cried the boy's mother. That worm is the pet of the pet of the pet of your pet. He does not need a pet. But the boy knew that even a worm might need something to take care of something of his very own. And so the worm found a flea. It was a tiny brown flea, and it hopped all over the house. Why, the worm had trouble keeping up with it. But he followed the flea and looked after it, and soon they were the best of friends. Such good friends, in fact, that in no time at all, can you imagine what happened next? That's right, the flea wanted a pet. Absolutely not, said the boy's mother. That flea is the pet of the pet of the pet of the pet of your pet. No more pets. But that didn't stop the flea, because of course he wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. So the flea decided the puppy would be his pet. Oh, life was wonderful. The boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and the worm and the flea were as happy as could be because they all had pets. But there was someone, a special someone, and important someone who wasn't happy. She wasn't happy at all. Now the boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and the worm and the flea were a little bit worried. None of them wanted to give up their pets. What were they going to do? The boy thought about this for a long time, and then he had an idea. His mother needed something to take care of, something of her very own. Because whenever you take care of something, that something takes care of you.